So this is the AVCAN's NDI PTZ camera. Perfect if you have a switcher capable of controlling it, but there's also other ways that you can control it and connect to it, which would be perfect for live streaming at events like weddings, churches, corporate events, school theaters, so much more, but also even perfect for just streaming it in your own studio. And the quality of this thing is actually really good, but there's also a lot more to talk about, so let's get right to it. Mr. Black. And by the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Danny Black. I love to share with you cool gear that comes my way. And if you're new here, don't be a stranger. And I'll put links to everything down in the description. And if you clicked on this video because you're looking to get a PTZ camera, I would love to know what event you'd be using it for, maybe how you'd be using it, also what switcher you might be using as well. Drop a comment and let me know. It'd be really interesting to see. Okay, getting back to the camera, the unboxing is actually not that glorious. You get the PTZ camera right here and also you get a remote control, you get the power cable, and you have an RS-232 controller cable. And this camera is super cool, and one of the things that I find really fascinating is how quiet it is when it's moving around. So if you are using it to live stream an event, it is so quiet, like nobody would be able to hear that moving around. And it moves really fast too. But just to focus on the quality, this has a built-in Sony CMOS image sensor, giving you video quality up to 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is your typical live stream resolution. It has real color, great low lights and sharpness, and it can pan and it can tilt and it can zoom. And that's PTZ. And that zoom is an optical zoom up to 20 times. So if you did put something like this in the back of your room, you could really zoom in on what you want to see and it comes in nice and clear because you can focus in on it. On the bottom here, there is a quarter thread for mounting. You also have some DIP switches. On the back of the unit, you have the PowerPoint, but you can also power this device over ethernet or PoE. So if you have this all connected to a network, you don't have to actually worry about bringing in another cable for the PowerPoint. There is HDMI out for video and audio. There is a 3.5 millimeter audio input. There is a USB type B port for connecting it directly to your computer. So you don't even need a switcher. You can just go directly to your computer and stream it from there. And again, you have that ethernet where you can connect this thing to a network, connect it to a switcher and you can be using it with that. There is an SDI output that allows you to get a cable up to hundred meters with no delay, no latency, and also really high quality. The remote is actually really fascinating as well. You can use this one remote to connect up to four different cameras and you can use this to adjust the focus, the iris, and the zoom, and also you can use the little joystick to move the camera around. And down at the bottom, this part's really cool, you can set different spots that you want it to go to. So if you're using a camera like this to like live stream a theater program, you can have like the wide theater shot and then you can customize it and have a zoomed in on like stage left and right and center or like somewhere in the audience. Really you can move this around and have all these different presets. So you can just press the number and then call and it immediately goes. And then when you get to a certain spot, if you want to set it, that you can easily set them and then clear. There's just a lot you can do with that and that would make life so easy having it pre-programmed out. But also with that NDI, you can connect it to your network and you can control it from your computer with a browser or their free software that you can download. You can connect it to switchers that have that PTZ feature so you can easily control it from that switcher. And you can also even zoom in or zoom out if you need to. Now on this channel, I like to just keep it straight to the point but also try to focus like like who would be using something like this? Who would be in the market for something like this? And again, school productions, even theaters, concerts. If you're like a local band and you wanna like stream your event and have like different pan shots and you can control it that way. If you wanna stream someone's wedding or there's a corporate event or your church needs some video streaming or like video production where you can have it going to a bigger screen that everyone can see, you can use it that way. But even for me, I actually love the idea of having something like this in my studio somewhere where when I do live streams, I can cut to that PTZ camera and have the different shots ready to go. I mean, the quality looks really good, especially when you're streaming, it's gonna look just perfect for your viewers that are on the other side of it. I even love that I can connect this thing to my stream deck and like press some buttons and make it move around to presets. There are a lot of possibilities. And if you do more live streams and you're looking to get a little bit more creative on those live streams, this would be a great way to do that. But there you have it. You've seen what it can do. 
you've seen the quality of it. And with all of that, this only comes in under $430. Plus there is a 5% coupon currently, which would make it actually closer to 400 US dollars. And that's a very competitive price, especially for what you get. But do check out the link in the description for the most up-to-date and current price. Also, I mean, if you're interested in more information, you'll find it there. And now I have the fun task of trying to figure out where in the studio space I wanna put it for my live streams. I have some ideas, but thanks again so much for watching. I have a lot of really cool gear to share with you coming up, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you wanna check out a really cool video switcher like the one I'm using here, you can click that and watch it right there. Or if you're more of the on the go type of streamer, check out this one right here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you there.